Uh, 47 degrees today, Rob. 50s for us tomorrow, but rain is on the way. Windy and wet tomorrow. Those winds will gust to 30, and we will be turning colder for the weekend once we get on the cold side of the system. Right now, we just have cloud cover, and a few sprinkles are trying to move into the far western suburbs. 43 degrees is where we stand. Right now, winds are picking up east southeast at 14 miles per hour, and they will continue picking up as the storm itself winds its way closer to Chicago. You can see the snow spreading through the Twin Cities. Rain for the Quad Cities. And as we look closer to home, we do see that in LaSalle County, DeKalb County, some of those sprinkles or flurries are trying to take shape here. But what we're going to see after midnight is that rain really starting to ramp up from the west. And by 7 a.m., I do expect some downpours in places. And temperatures aren't going to drop a whole lot. We hold in the upper 30s and then start rising back into the 40s. 10 a.m., downpours line up for the airports in the city and northwest Indiana. Maybe a little break at noon, but then scattered showers hours throughout the late afternoon hours and rain amounts. Well, some of the models want to give us good half inch of rain, maybe three quarters of an inch in McHenry County. We'll have to see who gets under those moderate showers, but the storm itself tomorrow will be over Wichita, Kansas City, just ahead of it. Storms north of St. Louis and an icy ribbon is possible from Minneapolis to Green Bay as snow sets up on the back side of the system as cold air rushes in. So our snow forecast models keep us quiet because it's just rain for us, but look at parts of South Dakota and as you head into areas like Aberdeen and even Fargo, we will see 12 to 18 inches of snow. Minneapolis 1 to 6, really depending on how much ice works its way into the storm. But this storm has a tropical connection from the Gulf of Mexico. So storms over Houston in the morning are going to travel along the Gulf Coast states. Rain winding its way through Chicago with wind. All of this rain is targeting the eastern seaboard as we get into Friday morning and Friday afternoon. By Friday evening on the backside of this, we could have a little bit of shower or flurry activity, but not amounting to much. So we'll only drop to 38 with that rain moving in tonight. Low temperatures will be in the upper 30s for the most part. And then during the day tomorrow, look at the 50s move into the map. Normal high is 32 degrees, but we are going to go with 53 with rain and with wind. Now our transition day is Friday, 42 for an early daytime high with falling temperatures. And then on Saturday, temperatures go back to reality. So colder this weekend, Rob, but what I like to see is a lot of sunshine there for Saturday and Sunday and then colder as we ring in the new year. All right. Thanks, Mary Kay.